I was told by several people when I first got on the Central Committee is that when we have these caucuses, that the the Libertarian Party will try to take over the party. And you need to make sure – the caucus, and you need to make sure that you're firm, that they will try to take – and I think that I entered there at least with that mindset of, well, there's going to be a takeover. And in terms of the rules, though – were you aware that you, you you set the rules, but then you go in and the point of the caucus is to actually transform the rules by vote, right? Yes. yes okay. Sir. All right. Now, what happened with the police? Who who's who's who called in the reinforcements? Okay. Well, we had we had police on uh, that we had hired there, two uh-huh. off-duty police officers. When the rule with the uh, with the camera was being enforced, and one person would not follow it, and the crowd started to get a little uh, wild. I then asked police officers to remove this person, and the police officers thought it was safe to only do so if they called in reinforcements first. I got you. Ah, hey, you can't do that! The camera thing was up to the individual caucuses. Each caucus could decide whether or not to have cameras or well, have and cameras. Again, that's, see, that's something that's decided by the people, uh, what's called the body of the caucus, the people who have been credentialed and are, are in the room and once the meeting is... Uh, uh, started, then they can make that rule or not. And once the meeting started, uh, and that the the rule was read of that no cameras, uh, there was obviously um, a great deal of uh, opposition to that. I was trying to make uh, points of order, and and there were other people trying to uh, to um, basically try to get a, a motion on the floor, to let people vote on whether they wanted the cameras or not, which is what, the, what it should have been, and not something that was uh, done ahead of time by uh, people who you know. We're organizing. That's not really their job. To that's right. I mean, and that's and that the, people need to remember that 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 as Kurt points out too, the individual caucuses were to, were to decide what the rules were. The rules were and and that, that would be in accordance with Roberts and everything else. Uh, the rules were to be decided at the caucus, not before. Correct. Boy, boy, boy. Just a minute. I hear my point. Katie Hanky, the chairman. Cheryl Bates, Jack Volunteer, Chris Sonner. and maybe a couple of little things, is to uh, take the election for the chairman and, and, then, and then that elected chairman takes over. Uh, when he opened up the floor for nominations, I immediately began trying to nominate myself. I know he saw and heard me. Uh, he ignored my attempts to uh, nominate myself. A woman stepped in front of me. He called on her. Uh, she nominated uh, uh, Matt uh, Allen, and, uh, and there was a second, and then... Uh, People started actually chanting my name, trying to nominate me as, uh, as you know, get my nomination in there. I was told that we could take a chair, uh, 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 an announcement for a chair, and if that same announcement, in that same sentence, it was said, well, I nominate this person, and I close all the nominations, that that was fair and that was legal. Now, immediately, I began calling for division. Hundreds of other people started calling for division, which means count the vote. Um, that can't, again, you don't have to have the floor, you don't have to have a second, and it must be um, uh, acted on. And uh, demands for a count of the vote were ignored. At that point, uh, this uh, person tried to take, uh, take charge of the meeting. Uh, everyone knew he was not properly uh, elected to, to be in that role, and so they were not listening to him. And at that point, uh, he, he uh, adjourned the meeting again improperly, so it was not properly closed. Yeah. And so that's when I tried to try to reconvene the meeting and and uh, and reestablish uh, the caucus. <laughs> Yeah. 
stand our ground. Are we going to let the St. Charles County Central Committee railroad all of us? No. 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 Nope. Nope. Let's stand our ground and have a caucus right here. Yeah. 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 Listen. Yeah. yeah. The meeting was not held in accordance to the call to conduct the caucus. No business was conducted. It was improperly adjourned. Uh, officers were properly uh, nominated by the temporary chair, not the elected chair. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and hold a convention by the rules. I've got the, the, the entire credential uh, parliamentary in the state of Missouri. Yeah. And I'll make sure we follow the rules. Yeah. Yeah. They adjourned the caucus. I tried to reconvene it because it was improperly con uh, adjourned and no, no, uh, business uh, was conducted that was required in the call to caucus. So I attempted to reconvene uh, inside the gymnasium. The GOP uh, county chairman unplugged the microphone, and the police told everyone that they had to leave the building or they would be arrested for trespassing. So uh, everyone was going outside. Uh, as soon as I, I was outside, some people came up to me to say that they were going to try to reconvene the caucus at a nearby park. I told them that that could not happen. The only location uh, that the caucus could be reconvened was in what was published in the call to caucus 15 days prior in the newspaper, and that was uh, the high school. And the, high, the call to caucus did not specify the gymnasium or any other room. So you had so to be there. As long as we were at the high school, we could reconvene the caucus, and right. that's what I attempted to do. And uh, when I was instructing people what information we needed to reestablish a roster, uh, that's when uh, the police uh, came and, and took me. When I was asking them what, well, if I was being arrested or detained, they said, we'll tell you later. I said, you know, what am I... You know, am I being charged with anything? Uh, uh, we'll tell you later. <laughs> we'll tell uh, you later, huh? <laughs> yeah, they'll tell me later. And they actually didn't figure out what they were going to charge us with until we were sitting in the police station for a little while. Yeah, wow. And then they decided that they would charge uh, myself uh, with uh, trespassing in the first and the uh, gentleman who uh, was removed because he'd actually uh, he'd turned off the, the guy with the video camera. He turned it off at one point. Uh, to comply, and then when he saw that they were, you know, you know violating all the rules, uh, he felt it was more important to document that, and he turned his camera back on, and he was arrested. Hey, just go I understand. And that's not great. That's but that's what I'm at, not some, at some point, I agree. We have to take a stand. This is happening everywhere. They're going to court. It doesn't do anything. It, all, all it does is make this meeting good. They're trying to that's have all got, That's all we've got. All we've got is our numbers. Yeah, that's, that's scary. But that's, that's, that's where it's headed. But that's ancient Greece. That's I know, but that is where it's headed. If, if we keep that... Listen to this. What we were hoping to do, I think, was not have a full takeover of one particular group where they might only be represented by 1% of the county, but yet they would get all of the delegates. They didn't think that that was fair for St. Charles County. Yeah. That was the committee that was advising him on the rules. Now, imagine this committee going, well, we don't really think it's fair that a certain percentage get all the delegates. We don't think that's fair for St. Louis County. And I got news for those jackalopes. The caucus is what determines what's fair for St. Charles County. By law, it's an election. And you guys on the committee aren't to determine the outcome of the election. When you're talking about not wanting a certain percentage of the population to get all the delegates, you're talking about manipulating an election. You know what I'm saying? Okay, good. Thank you very much.